Ghana is a developing country and we still have weak institutions. Our elections are such that sometimes the government feels under great pressure to spend, to sort of win over the electorate. All the major competitive elections, we tend to overspend. And this results in, in wide fiscal deficits. So when you look at it from 1992 to 2016, the major election comes and then we destroy the fundamentals of the economy. The country had lost quite a bit of sort of policy credibility. So we were an economy in a considerable state of distress. It comes at a cost to the country, it comes at a cost to citizens, it comes at a cost to the private sector. Macro stability is like fresh air. Uh, you really value it when it disappears and, and you see all these costs. I am happy the IMF is coming back, but I'm very disappointed because any time I see the IMF, I see our failure as a people. One of the advantage of being on the program is the discipline in the economic management that you subject yourself to first. The fund was very flexible actually in, in helping us uh, to, to proceed with the program. We realized that all the macroeconomic indicators were pointing in the right direction. Inflation was coming down, interest rates were coming down. The data showed evidence uh, that we were getting back on track. We've made considerable progress. We've seen physical discipline taking root. The stability the IMF program brought was important for us in order to be able to plan. We have made progress, but a lot of work lies ahead. The biggest risk going forward is our four-year election cycle. My fear and my concern has to do with the next election. If we are able to keep to the physical discipline, even as we, we go into the 2020 election, it will be very important for us. The current ar arrangement with the IMF has brought a lot of positives. Behind the entire program, was a very, very solid technical assistance. We've, we've benefited, I think, a lot from that collaboration. Ensuring that a country sustains its macroeconomic stability is very key, and we hope that Ghana continues to do this.